tragic event surrounded by mystery and public deception. Don't turn your back, she might stab you. What you see behind me is the photo right here of a girl who supposedly has disabilities, along with her mother, and now next to it, what she looks like in her prison uniform without the glasses and getup. Her mom had to have been making her fake her illness all, all her life. How do you kill your own mother? I mean, there's got to be a reason. There's got to be some abuse there. You don't just, I'm going to kill my mother because I want to be with a boyfriend. When you commit a first-degree murder, you knowingly cause the death of another person after deliberation. Analysis of cell phones provided evidence of numerous text messages between Gypsy Blanchard and Nicholas Goder. If I only used one card that I have over you, Gypsy. Yes, very very good. Yes, very good. I really didn't think any abuse was going on. Um. I don't know what he was putting in my stepson's head. Yeah. You know? I think he's madly in love with this I girl. know. I mean, that's the way it works, though, when you have what he has. It's like your mind focuses on one thing. Do you know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. Do you think that if, if Gypsy hadn't asked you to kill her mom, you'd ever killed her mom? I know I wouldn't have done it. Okay. You just did it because you loved Gypsy and Gypsy asked you to do it. Yes. Is that what I'm thinking? Yes. Okay. Why didn't nobody know she could walk? Uh, her mom, uh, wanted everyone thinking that she was, like, 16 the entire time. So, okay. yeah, she felt kind of trapped. It's relief. Um, you know, at the very beginning of this, there was the, the question of the death penalty on the table. She now doesn't have a language beyond manipulation and retaliation. Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her boyfriend, Nicholas Godijan, are both charged with premeditated murder. Gypsy is potentially dangerous. Dee Dee was a master manipulator, and it's impossible that Gypsy would not have picked this up and used it. The Blanchard scammed many different charities and lied to many different charities across the U.S., including churches and support groups. Dee Dee's a beast. Yeah. Missouri Highway Patrol issued a statewide alert tonight about a mother and a daughter missing from Springfield tonight. They say 19-year-old Gypsy Blanchard and 48-year-old Claudinia Blanchard were last seen June 10th. If you know anything about their whereabouts, you're asked to call police right away. I saw a crowd of neighbors gathered up, and that's when I found out about the Facebook post. I thought maybe someone had just hack their account. But what made it strange was we were bonded by this lie together, like we couldn't escape each other. Did Gypsy know that you were going to kill her mother? Um, honestly, she asked me to. Okay. So, so Gypsy knew you were going to do it because Gypsy asked you to. Yes. Why did she ask you to do that? Because she felt it was her only way to be with me. Okay. We got into a conversation. Nick was telling me how he would protect me from anyone. And I asked him, I said, anyone? And he said, yes. And I said, even my mother? And he said, yes. And then me and Nick were talking one night. And he said that he would do anything to protect me. And I asked him anything, and he said, yeah. From anybody, he said, yeah. Even my mom, he said, yes. And that's when this kind of plan started to develop of a murder plot. So, uh, she first asked me, how badly do you want to be with me? I told her I'd, be, I'd do anything to be with her, you know that. And she said, as long as my mom's alive, I can't be with you. She made that very clear. Very quickly, two weeks after.
after first communicating to be the community official on Facebook that we're in a relationship. To find out that these two people that they had cared so much for were not who they thought. Until questions are answered, people will be left wondering who the real mother and daughter really were. I thought I knew these people so well. Even Blanchard's true age is a mystery. If she could walk, she knew she could walk. How deep did the lie go? I was on a bunch of medications, and I know that's no excuse, but on Xanax, I felt like I had no emotion, and I wasn't thinking right. We somehow just knew we were right for each other. Okay. So we, like, what was it, like four days, I'd have to say, four days later, we uh, started a relationship together. I wanted more independence, and that just wasn't okay with her. We were bonded by this lie together, like we couldn't escape each other. My mother won't let me. She's a beast. Yeah. 